We've all heard of frozen yogurt. Called Froyo. But can you freeze yogurt? Let's find out. So back around Christmas time, I went to a discount grocery store called Smart Shopper. And at that discount grocery store, they had yogurt. It was a whole pack for $1.99. Yeah, definitely worth the $1.99. And it was real good name brand, this Ziggy yogurt. And my family couldn't eat all of that in one sitting, so I froze it. And it's been in the freezer this whole time. You're still here? So I'm gonna thaw it and see if it's still any good. How many days does it take to thaw yogurt? Has anyone done that? Anybody know? 24 hours later. Okay, so this yogurt has been in the fridge de-thawing overnight. So we're gonna see what it looks like here. Oh, the consistency is pretty good. All right, and if you look at it, the expiration date is on here somewhere. Is that on the bottom? I don't want to spill it. I don't know if we can see that. Let's see. It was Best Buy Christmas. Expired. 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 So it's been in the freezer for about three months, and it's still good. It doesn't have a weird smell. It has a pretty good consistency, but as I say that, it's starting to, like, get runny. I don't know. I'm going to let it sit out a little bit more and then we'll come back to it. A few moments later. Okay, so it's only been about 30 extra seconds and it's more of like a melted ice cream consistency. Dear frozen yogurt, you are the celery of desserts. Be ice cream or be nothing. Zero stars. It looks like it's pretty runny. Um, so I probably wouldn't freeze this for long term. Like we ate it, some of it in January, it was absolutely fine. So my advice is if you are going to freeze yogurt, do it for the short term, not the long term. Cause this is, I believe a Greek style yogurt and it just did not freeze well, but I am not going to let this go to waste. I'm going to use this instead of milk inside of pancakes, and then they'll have a nice strawberry flavor. Okay, so we're here in my kitchen, and I have some pancake mix, and I got this Kodiak Power Pancake Waffle and Pancake Mix at my Sam's Club, and it's usually about $12, $13. And my Sam's Club last year around Christmas time or before that, they had it on sale for $4. So I believe I bought 10. And so I stocked up on that. So that should get me through the year. Got my bowl, got my griddle, and we're ready to make pancakes. Okay, I just made some pancakes and my son Jaden is gonna try them. You will have pancakes and you'll like it. Is that hot? He's gonna try them and see how they taste. Okay, wait for it to cool down. What do you think? Yes, no? What do you think? Yes. Yes? You wanna put a, a thumbs up in the camera over here? No. No? Is it a good pancake? What does it taste like? Hard to describe. It's hard to describe. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Do they taste sweet? Do they have like a, a fruity flavor? They don't have a fruity flavor. No fruity flavor? Tastes a tiny bit tangy. <laughs> what? It's tangy. So you can taste the yogurt or you can't taste the yogurt? You can't. You can't taste it just the yogurt. It tastes weird. 
It tastes a little weird, but is it good? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so should we freeze yogurt? In the short term, I don't see anything wrong with it. We do go-gurts and things like that. Not a problem, but for the long term, I probably wouldn't. And can you cook pancakes with yogurt? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now let me know in the comments below if you have ever made pancakes with yogurt and how did they turn out? If you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you next time.